also in our composting schools, we saw that these students are doing such an amazing job, but we're also noticing that they're trying to compost completely untouched, unopened food. In fact, in one school in Montgomery County, they had over 60 milk cartons and also a lot more um, untouched, unopened food. Mm -hmm. And that food can be actually used to fight hunger in our community. The food recovery elements of this program aim to do just that through just two simple low cost solutions. Um, so it's basically a um, a spin-off of the share table system that was in place before COVID. So there's a share cart and a mini fridge that goes inside the cafeteria. Um, the share cart is for the students' non-perishable foods and the mini fridge is for the students' perishable foods. And students are given the extra opportunity to go visit those devices throughout the entire day. And they're also able to take the food home, which is especially helpful for both food shy and food insecure students. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, any food that isn't taken by the students, we then redistributed directly into the community it came from through homeless shelters and food pantries. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to note that one in nine Marylanders face food insecurity, yep. which means that by implementing food recovery programs in every single school in Maryland, we're able to directly help over 200,000 students. And in the past couple of months, we've opened food recovery programs in over 10% of MCPS, and a lot more schools across our state are interested in this. And people are ready and they're willing to put the energy to work to make this work. So with statistics like this, it is crucial that you provide funding for these bills and for these programs. And with your help, we can effectively end hunger and food waste in our communities.